Let's talk a little bit today about what drives the modules on the front page. These are typically, these modules are typically referred to as latest news modules. Now different um, developers create these and call them different things, but they're all almost always driven uh, from the module manager in the back end. Now keep in mind, typically within the module, you're going to set the number of articles to display, okay? And then you're also going to set which category these are going to pull from. So in this particular example, this should be pulling the latest horse health articles from the horse health section is what should be occurring, no matter which category they are placed in. Now you can set that category uh, as well. So let's go ahead and log into our back end and let's take a look. First thing we want to do though is we want to go identify the number or the name of the category depending upon the module. So that one that we're working with is called Horse Health. So let's go ahead and filter by health and look over here uh, to the right we can see that it is ID number 949. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take note of 9 Four, nine, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to change it to pull all the articles from section 949. Now, let's go to the module manager and keep in mind some modules allow you to choose it. Okay, so let's, let's scroll down here and we're looking for horse health news. The fastest way to find this is going to be for us to filter again by health. But we've got to be careful that we change the right one. All right, so we'll notice here that this is not enabled and looking for the ones. Okay, so here is, uh, here it is, latest horse health articles. It's enabled and it's sitting in the user three position, and we know that's on the main page. So let's go ahead and, and choose that. All right, now, as we look through here, you'll notice that it's choosing to show six articles. Okay, the order is what's showing whatever is recently added first. And then here are the category ID numbers that it's pulling from. What we're going to do is actually eliminate those and the section ID we want to pull from is 949. Okay, And let's go ahead and click apply. Then let's go back over to the main page and we should see these uh, change. So let's go ahead and click refresh and, and it looks like, oh, can you see there's nothing pulling. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go back and double check our ID number, make sure we had our ID number right. So let's go back to the section manager. Let's go look for horse health. Let's look under ID. Oh, okay, I must have been in the category manager by accident. The horse health section ID is 27. So let's go ahead and let's go back over to the module manager. Let's go and click on latest horse health articles. And let's choose uh, that, make that 27. Click apply, and let's go back over. Even the experts can make an error. <laughs> All right, and there we go. And so then now it's pulling the last ones that have been added to the articles, to the horse health article section. Now, if you want to change how these order up in here, you can do that through the module here. You can change it there in the ordering, or you can actually go and change the published date on the articles uh, themselves. And that's it. Good luck with updating. Oh, that, by the way, that's called the latest news module. If you wanted to add one of those to the main page, you would simply click new. And then you would go down here and you would choose latest news. So let's uh, find it here. This one called latest news. I know it's here. Latest news, latest news. Here it is. Latest news right here. Then you would simply click next. And then just like you saw before, it will give us the opportunity to define uh, the title and then the count and then the section category. Now you can also do multiple categories, multiple sections by using their number and separating them with commas. Good luck and all the best with Joomla.